Good morning, Doms. Is the sun a little bright on your little kitty eyes? And do you want to go in? And do you know what we're doing today? We're doing a big brick kit on a JL today, Doms. What do you think? What do you think? All right, we got the Jeep JL situated in the garage. It's an OEM factory Mopar big brake kit. This Jeep is currently sitting on 35s. Gonna have a look at the kit before we get started. There's my JK, my TJ, JL. All sorts of goodies inside here. Oh, they do give you all brand new lines too. Probably four boxes of calipers, brake pads. These will be all your rotors. Looks like it's pretty straightforward. Let's have a quick look. Bring your brake fluid. Mm -hmm. Gonna start by sucking out as much brake fluid as we can. Well, that sucks. Looks like they got a little bit of a screen up top. Since I can't seem to drain the brake fluid, which would be the easiest way, I'm gonna pull off a tire, uh, open up the bleeding valve, start sucking it out, and then start taking off the passenger side as well. All right. It's got the same wheel nuts, locks as what I got on mine. Holy fuck, these bead locks are heavy. All right, so I'm actually gonna start by removing brake line from this side. This is our bleeder screw right here. Move the caliper off, move the disc. Shouldn't be too hard. Brake fluid is nasty stuff. There we go, we're already starting to come out. All right, time to shut her down. The shit show always follows me, but this time it's not what you think. So for this Jeep JL, MJ purchased the big brake kit. Now there was a lot of debate she said on the forums that uh, people were debating that for the Sahara, which she has in the Rubicon, it's the same brake kit. So I don't know if the lesser models have different brakes, but what we discovered is that it came with new brake lines for the front, which was the exact same identical brake line. And then this is the new caliper for the front. It uses the same brackets, which start having me question whether or not. So it appears for the Sahara, the brakes in the front are the same, but we're gonna check the back, but that's kind of disappointing because um, I was hoping to bang this kid off today. Had all these plans to do this today, but looking like, Looking like it's going to have a day off today to kind of kick back and relax. It's a good thing. Because it's Fedor's birthday tonight, and Fedor watches my videos, but of course by the time he watches this video, his birthday will be long gone. So everybody wish Fedor a happy birthday. I got him some random pack of craft beers, and MJ got Fedor a cigar, but we're going to go over there tonight. Yeah, it's kind of sad, but at least my Jeep is going. All this work for nothing. So I guess we're gonna throw, throw this wheel back on. I told MJ, she's got bead locks on her Jeep. And I said, how the heck are you gonna change a 35 inch tire with bead locks by yourself? Cause those things are like hundred pounds, just friggin' massive. <sighs> Anyways, shut her down. All right, so there's the part number.
compare that to the new one. Isn't that enough to make you cry? But I'm more curious about when she went to purchase this from the dealership, she said she had to give her VIN number as well. So if it is the same brakes, at least in the front, we haven't checked the rear yet. Why wouldn't they have said something then that, hey, this won't work with your Jeep because you already have the larger brake kit on it. This does not make sense to me. I was going to take off the rear tire, but it looks like either P2... Oops, looks like either P263 maybe, could be an eight, but looks like P263 is the part number for the rear brake. Shut her down, same part number, P263. Big brake kit, does not work on the Jeep Sahara. Oh, look at this, Miss Fancy Pants has a metal cloak differential bash guard along with an ARB diff cover. Oh, fancy. Well, I guess the only thing we're going to be doing today is brake flush because it's obviously already empty. So disappointing. So if you're watching this video, can't say for all Saharas or even the Rubicons, but this Sahara, the part numbers matched, but was already taken off. So th the big brake kit is not actually a big brake kit on these ones. Maybe the sport's different. I don't know. So just getting ready to head to Fedora's for his birthday, but these are the beers I got him. Two Wolves, Arctic Blonde Ale, Waterloo IPA, Hard Knocks Brewery, Grunt Work, Arrogant Bastard Ale, and Wizard's Revenge, Strawberry Milkshake, IPA. Now back to Mary Jo's JL. I, in my opinion, the Dodge dealership should have said something that those brakes are not compatible for your Jeep. Because I don't know what do you guys think, but from my point of view, the same part numbers is not a big brake upgrade at all. Now she had a couple shops in town that she was going to take it to and get those brakes installed. Now, do you think, honestly, do you think honestly that these shops would have been honest and said, hey, these are the same brakes? Or do you think they would have just installed them and sent her on her way? I wanna know below in the comment section what you guys think. Anyways, getting ready. Mary Jo should be back over. Tomcat's just outside. And then gonna head over to Fedora's. Wish him a happy birthday. And then new projects starting tomorrow. They probably just like. All right, shut her down. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you've been inquiring about getting a Mopar big brake kit for your Sahara, it's probably could be the same for the Rubicon. But as you guys seen in this video, it appears that it is the exact same parts. So at this time, I don't have another jl to look at like a like an entry level jl like a sport or whatever to determine if those brakes are smaller or not but as we can see right now the big brake kit is pretty much the same brake kit same part numbers as what's already on the sahara so like mary joe said there's been she's read up there's a lot of debate on the forum saying that there wasn't any differences from what we could tell looked exactly the same to me same brake hose same calipers same part numbers anyway shut her down i hope this video helped you guys out so hopefully you're not wasting money especially ordering a kit and find out it's not going to be any use to you i'll talk to you guys later
shut her down.